Hello and welcome to episode 7 of World War 2. In today's episode I build the Garo Habitat. Um, it was going to be a long river, but uh, last episode I built the outline of it, so I kind of just followed that. Um, and yeah, I change not much about it really. Um, I think this is one of the best habitats I made in the zoo personally. I think it, where it's positioned is ideal. Um, and yeah, it just looks really cool. I actually added fences this time. I did use a blueprint. The blueprints should be in my description. I don't think I put them in there yet, but I will do that eventually. Um, but you can find them on the Steam Workshop, so it's fine. Um, and yeah, yeah, it's this habitat. I was trying to find a leucistic gharial, like a big male one, but I couldn't find one, so I just had that female. But yeah, the female are very small and the males are really large and I actually struggled trying to get the males to go in and out of the river so there's only one entrance for the males but there's like multiple for the females um, uh, so yeah um, I also adjusted the doll habitat um, to the side of the garrel by adding this chain link fence here it kind of helps add it and like make it more coherent for each other uh, so yeah um, if you'd like to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this, I'll be very much appreciated. And I hope this gives you some inspiration for your Garo Habitat, if you ever make one that is. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will pop back in maybe through the middle to give some Garo facts. You can find where that is and I will also pop in at the end. So see you then.
Hello and welcome to the part of the video where I talk a little bit about of Garils and tell you what they are like in the world. Um, Garils are actually one of the largest and rarest crocodilians, reaching up to about 15 feet in length, um, and they also weigh about 2,000 pounds, which is very heavy. That's like ridiculous, and they've, as you can see in game as well, they've got this really long snout with like really really sharp teeth and it's adapted to catching fish and they also kill i think it's frogs as well um but as you can see males have like this little bulbous thing on their snout and it's called a gara which is used for vocalization and mating um and actually when they want to communicate they blow bubbles and it is known as bubbling which is quite funny um and like before you think that the Gara is called after the Garals, the Gara is actually named from an Indian pot, which is quite funny. Um, and also, Garals are found mostly in rivers. They spend most of their time in rivers. They don't move very well on land, so there's no point. And they're actually one of the most aquatic species of crocodilians. They are actually quite, they're like evolutionary distinct in a way. They kind of evolved away from crocodilians, so they're not very similar to like saltwater crocodiles or stuff like that. Um, and they have all the crocodilians. They do lay the largest egg out of them all, and they actually can lay up to 60 eggs in one go, which is about an average as well of how much they lay. Um, Garils are known as an indicator for clean river systems as well. So if you want to go and like analyze the water maybe if there's garils there it's a good river system there's not well that's probably why because there's not many fish there um, and sadly where they are which is india and nepal they don't have the cleanness of water systems they like us humans aren't very let's say hygienic in the fact um that we self-sustain ourselves we kind of just throw it back at nature and throw it all in the rivers and the oceans it's not very nice. And lastly, garils are actually very, very shy in the fact they try and stay away from humans as well. So they don't actually want to eat them. Many crocodilians actually want to go and attack humans if they go near them. Like people call them swamp puppies in Florida, but they will attack you. They're very harmful puppies. 
but gharals don't hunt humans actively and they don't really want to be near you either like many animals but these ones actually don't hunt you which is quite interesting but sadly we hunt them for skin and medicine um i don't know necessarily what for medicine most animals are hunted for by medicine don't know but it is what it is and i can see why they want their skin because as you know crocodile skin is very very sought after which is quite sad really um and i think the main reason why they do this is because in hindu mythology which is the most abundant religion in india um the gods in hindu mythology referenced crocodilians like the garials which were very abundant at the time as very fertile and associated them with fear and this actually gives them that the ideology that they're bad and that's why they're hunted which is really sad and i can see why though because their teeth there's so many of them and actually the garals have more teeth than any other crocodilian um many crocodilians only have about 66 teeth on average but the garals have 110 interlocking teeth so you can imagine how how much that is but the long snout is just an amazing tool of catching fish in the water. I really do recommend looking up on how they do it because it's just amazing. But luckily, there are, are many conservation efforts for them. Um, there's actually a lot of garals in zoos. Most of them are in zoos. And yeah, I hope they survive. There are other crocodilians like the slender snouted crocodile and caiman, which have that slender snout but not necessarily for like they're not part of that group it's just that's how they've evolved in their specific habitat um and yeah uh, i'll pop in at the end of the video and give you a nice nice goodbye and see you then
Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, thank you for watching this video so much. Um, I hope you liked this video. The Gara with it is definitely one of the best habitats I've made. And if you would like to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like this, I'll be very much appreciated. Um, if you would like me to upload anything I use or suggest anything in the comments, please please, please leave some feedback as well. That'd be very much appreciated. Um, if there is anything else you'd like me to adjust my videos, like talking throughout the video, I still need an answer to, if anyone could give me that. Um, yeah. Um, I'd like some names maybe for the girls as well, if you could do that. And next episode, I'd like to tell you that I might start doing that island habitat. I'm may or may not have made up something to come up with um, but not like in the middle of the island around the edge of the island I think I'm going to do the Indian Rhino um, and he can wander around I have a pair of them obviously and they can wander around the edge and the guests can have a brief viewing because they've got that long bridge going over and the only work I will do in between episodes will be the like adjusting the bridge because I have to keep deleting that if you've seen the video um, because the water placement keeps going funny um, lucky I found that issue but yeah uh, thank you for watching please like and subscribe and see you next time bye